So in today's video, I want to explain how to calculate uh, the inverse kinematics of one leg of a robot and then use that to calculate the whole body inverse kinematics of the robot. So, um, and I will also explain, um, or I will also show you an example of the implementation using Python. So hopefully the, um, the content covered in this video sh should be um, broken down into smaller pieces that so that it's easier to understand. Um, yeah, so let's get started. So firstly, we will be looking at um, we will start looking um, this uh, looking at just one of the leg, so that the problem we want to solve is much simpler. Um, yeah, so we will, firstly we'll be looking from the front side of the robot. So um, that gives us um, this uh, diagram. So we will be uh, we are looking on the ro one of the robot's leg from the front. So we we have um, y and z axis here. So um, but when when you look at the diagram, we can see I've. I've I've drawn in a few angles, uh, alpha one, alpha two, and alpha three, and also um, theta one. And note that um, this phi is a fixed, a, co a constant, is a constant value, and it depends on the configuration of your robot. For example, here um, it's this angle here. So in my case, this is a ninety degree. Um, angle but it might be different for, for, for your robot but yeah it can be in um it could be like this but um yeah in my case it's 90 degrees so um to find um so what we want to find is the uh, theta one which is the angle that the servo needs to move in order to um get this um this angle um, from the coordinate um, x, y, z, um, also represented as j4, joint 4. So first, firstly, to calculate theta 1, we uh, need to find the length a, length a, which is pretty simple task, um, just um, using the square root of x squared plus y squared, or the absolute, uh, multiply the absolute um, value of x, um, and by the absolute value of y or in python you can use a function called norm and then input x and y and then um, um, from the calculated length a we can calculate alpha to this uh, this angle using a simple sign rule by rearranging the sign uh, this formula in terms of alpha 2 we get this one and once we find alpha 2 um, we can find alpha 3 here um, by looking at the triangle we can see that alpha 3 is pi minus phi minus alpha 2 and in this case pi is 180 degrees but in radians in radians and once we find alpha 1 alpha 2 and alpha 3 we can find uh, theta one. Uh, so this is a bit. It's not tricky, but we also have to make sure that depending on which side or of the robot, we might need to either subtract or add alpha three to alpha one. So if it's on the right, the leg is on the right side of the robot, then we have to subtract alpha three from alpha one. And if it's on the other side, on the left side of the robot, we have to add alpha three to alpha 1. So um, that's the base, uh, the equation that we have to implement to get the theta 1. So um, that's one job done, we found our, uh, theta 1. So now we move on to finding the other angles, alpha, uh, sorry, theta 2 and theta 3. But because I want to make things a bit easier for us to calculate um, theta, theta 2 and theta 3 um, we we first rotate um, z and y axis um, 
by R and this angle, angle R can be found by um, theta 1 plus uh, pi which is the constant angle uh, and depends on your robot's configuration uh, minus 90 degrees or pi over 2 that's 90 degrees so um, in short um, we are looking on this plane so um, this is an eye so we will be looking from this side onto this plane so uh, here I explained a little bit so we will rotate the point um, x y z or j4 by negative r so that uh, using a transformation matrix or rotation matrix so in this case t is a rotation matrix which is a 3 by 3 matrix consisting of 0 zeros and ones and sine and cosines of um, this r so i i can sh i will show you the um the details of the transformation matrix when we implement um this in the code uh yeah so now so we are going to work on the new z uh, new x and z prime plane so so here um we are working on x and new z uh, prime plane so again here we can see a few angles defined here uh, defined on the diagram uh, we have beta 1 beta 2 and beta 3 and we also have theta 2 and theta 3, 3 which we want to calculate so um, again similar to the first time um, we start by calculating the length b and then find beta 1 using that tangent and but also make sure that the result of uh, inverse tangent is between 0 and 2 pi so um, so that it's always a positive angle zero, between 0 to 360 degrees and I've provided a simple function that allows you to do that um, um, it's just using a few if statements to make sure that the angles are within this range actually I can quickly show you how, how I implemented it so yeah here um, the name of the function I, I named it as point to radians but actually what what it does is just calculating the inverse tangent but um, in the range between 0 to 2 pi so it's it's similar to inverse tangent but it's just giving the answer in in this range between this range so uh, so as I said um, we can use uh, we can then find beta 2 using the cosine rule and then use almost exactly the same method to calculate beta 3 and then from the diagram uh, we can see that theta 2 is beta 1 uh, beta, beta 1 here minus beta 2 and also theta 3 is pi minus theta uh, beta 3 so pi means just 180 degrees minus beta 3 equals this one uh, theta 3 so that's actually that's it for a single leg inverse kinematics and then now I'm going to talk about how to um, use this to calculate the full uh, body kinematics uh, so inverse kinematics of a robot